Alright, what we get on the bench for repair today is a iCom 746 Pro. Uh, the complaint on this radio is, um, actually there's three. Um, number one was the uh, key jack in the front here doesn't work. Um, number two, that the uh, crystal oscillator drifts. And number three, the external speaker uh, um, jack in the back is having a problem. Um, so I've already ordered the crystal oscillator, the TCXO, a temperature controlled crystal oscillator for this. Um, that'll be in soon. And uh, I guess uh, this has in, been in for a previous repair for the same key or problem. Um, so we're going to see what's going on there. Um, what we got here is the actual key that may have been was used. Um, I noticed that it's a, not a shielded cable, so I'm wondering maybe if a little RFI issue is going on here. Um, so let's take a look at the schematic here. We've got the electronic key here. Um, that's where the jack comes in, that's where the, the phono plug goes in, and then it goes out over there through these uh, terminal strip here. So we'll go over to the other schematic here. We'll see where they come in. Okay, you got the dot and you got the dash right there. They come in, come down, and they go through these two points here, this checkpoint and this checkpoint. Checkpoint 1024 and checkpoint 1023. So we're going to check these two 1K resistors, these two 47K ohm resistors. I do believe they're surface mount. And we're going to check these switching diodes. And then after the switching diodes, the uh, uh, they get injected into this chip here, this IC. I'm um, not exactly sure what it is, processor or whatnot, microcontroller, whatever it is. Um, so we're going to take a look at that circuit here. I'm assuming maybe these are open. Um, so that'll be uh, something to look for. So uh, in the next uh, shot, probably be uh, with the radio open and we'll take a look around. All right. We're back here. I've already taken the uh, um, base plate off of the radio, and uh, we're going after we're diagnosing the uh, the keyer port not working. And uh, I'll show you what I found: surface mount resistors. Those two that we were talking about earlier. Um, this 1K and this 1K. So if we come down here and we zoom in, you can see that they are cooked. Now show how small these really are. That's the tip of the pencil. So this one's going to be fun. Here's those two transistors, those uh, switching transistors we're talking about. So, and there's the, the other two resistors. I think they're 4.7K. Those, those, I think, were okay. I'll double check them again, but, uh, yeah, these ones are definitely smoked. They're supposed to be like this. They're supposed to say 102. They're junk. So, I'm going to have to replace those, and hopefully the Kia comes back in action. So, we'll start here. All right, we just, uh, I just replaced those two uh, resistors, the 1Ks, um, this one and this one. And if you remember, they were burnt. They are right here on the bench. Uh, they are tiny, 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 tiny. So, uh, yeah, that was fun. They, it was so close to all the other components that uh, I didn't want to blow them away with my hot air rework station. So I, I grabbed this stuff a while back. It's a uh, Kapton tape, high temperature tape. It's kind of translucent. Uh, works great, I'll tell you. You put that over, I put that over the connector and everything its surrounding area. And uh, when you go down with your hot air gun, it doesn't melt or blow away the other components. Keeps everything nice and uh, nice and uh, cool. So let's take a look at the repair here. Get the factory ones here. And these ones here. That's the ones I just put in. If you remember the last ones, they looked all nasty. 
Now these ones here, 102, 102, 102. So hopefully that takes care of the key in circuit. So I'm going to put the put the board back on here. I'm going to put the uh, oh god, I don't remember the name of this board, but um, there's no part number on it. Okay, there we go. MP3, MP4. No, I don't think that's it, but whatever. Display. Yeah, I'm going to put this back over the board, solder all the uh, potentiometers back in that I had to unsolder to get the, the board off and unplug all these ribbon cables and, uh, and the uh, LCD backlight cable. That's this one right here, high voltage. Um, I may shield this a little bit because maybe the, maybe something to do with this is uh, uh, bugging that. I doubt it, but uh, I don't know. I really think it might be that... Uh, RFI or something coming down the key or cable. Um, so, all right. So I'm gonna put this back together and uh, and put it back on the radio and see what happens, and then uh, we'll go from there. All right. So uh, now we got everything all hooked up, ready to test. Uh, make sure the uh, key port, the keyer is uh, working. I got my uh, other test uh, rig over here set up. I got. Um, the ICOM here uh, going into a dummy load and um, I just have my Yazoo 857 just standing by just so I can I can hear it and make sure it's actually broadcasting um, before when I was keying this up before I did the repair it wouldn't it wouldn't put the radio into transmit no matter what um, setting you had it on so let's see what happens here I'm gonna try and key this up there we go all right. I'm not a CW guy, so I don't know any code, but uh, this does seem to be transmitting, so that's good. So I guess uh, after this, we'll uh, move on to the rest of the stuff. But that's uh, all set.